Okay, hi ladies and gentlemen, it's Bunny Says, I'm on my right back. Um, I just uh, went to check on something and came right back. And so we're still in the literature club, except uh, Sayori isn't here, she's gone. A horrible, horrible picture of her in the last uh, episode of her hanging from the ceiling. I mean, I don't even know if I want to go back and look at it. Uh, it you know, it's sort of, uh, it's re this is very subversive. It uh, changes uh, your expectation of the game. Now I'm like, Instead of just continuing on with another save, now I'm sitting here like, uh, I'm wondering if I if I start talking to some other girl, that suddenly it's gonna do that to me again, and suddenly another girl's gonna get killed. It's like a murder story. It's like a you know, last one left standing. <laughs> All right, so let's continue on from here. And so Sarah is in here, huh? She's gone. Okay. um... Natsuki's talking, so let me guess. You're Monica's boyfriend, right? What? No, I'm not. Uh, Natsuki. Is your the girl with the sour attitude, whose name is apparently Natsuki, is one I do not recognize. It's one I don't recognize. Her small figure makes me think she's probably your first year. Okay, Monica. A anyway, this is Natsuki, energetic as usual. And this is Yuri, the Vice President. What? Oh, wow. So, Sayuri is totally gone, huh? Yuri, it's, it's nice to meet you. Yuri, who appears comparably, comparably more mature and timid, seems to have a hard time keeping up with someone like, like Natsuki. Yeah, it's nice to meet both of you. So, I ran into Bunny in the classroom and he decided to come check out the club. Isn't that great? Oh, no, no cupcakes? <laughs> Wait, Monica. Didn't I tell you to let me know in advance before you brought anyone new? I was going to... Oh, you know. Sorry, sorry. I didn't forget that, but I just happened to run into him. In that case, I should at least make some tea, right? Oh, yeah, that's right. I already had her tea case. Okay. Yeah, that would be great. Why don't you come sit down, buddy? This makes me dread the uh, the next interactions. The girls have a few desks arranged to form a table. Yuri walks to the corner of the room and opens the closet. Meanwhile, Monica and Natsuki sit across from each other. Still feeling awkward, I see that take a seat next to Monica. So I know you didn't really plan on coming here, but we'll make sure you feel right at home, okay? As president of the literature club. It's my duty to make the club fun and exciting for everyone. Okay, there's me talking. As far as there aren't more people in the club yet. It must be hard to start a new club. Well, you can put it that way. Not many people are very interested in putting all the out all the effort to start something brand new. Especially when it's something that doesn't grab your attention, like literature. You have to work hard to convince people that you're both fun and worthwhile. But it makes school events like the festival that much more important. I'm confident that we can all really grow this club before we graduate. Right, it's Natsuki? It's only like Well, I'm in the middle year, so there's only one more year after it. Oh, okay. Well I guess. Natsuki reluctantly agrees. Such different girls all interested in the same goal. Monica must have worked really hard just to find these two. Yuri returns to the table carrying a tea set. She carefully places a teacup in front of each of us before sitting down the teapot in the middle. Okay, this is me. You keep a whole tea set in the classroom? Don't worry, the teachers gave us permission. After all, does not a hot cup of tea help you enjoy a good book? I, I guess. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Don't let yourself get intimidated. Yuri's just trying to impress you. Huh? It's not. Insulted, Yuri looks away. I meant that, you know. I believe you. 
Well, tea and reading might not be a pastime for me, but I at least enjoy tea. I'm glad. Mary faintly smiles to herself in relief. So, Bunny, what kind of things do you like to read? Oh, that's really depressing. I, I want Sayori back. Well, uh... Considering how little I've read these past few years, I don't really have a good way of answering that. Manga? <laughs> I mutter quietly to myself, half joking. Natsuki's head suddenly breaks up. Looks like she wants to say something, but she keeps quiet. Yuri, not much of a reader, I guess. Well, that can change. What am I saying? <laughs> I spoke without thinking after seeing Yuri's sad smile. Anyway, oh, what about you, Yuri? Well, let's see. Yuri traces a rumor of a teacup with a finger. My favorites are usually novels that build deep and complex fantasy worlds. The level of creativity and craftsmanship behind them is amazing to me. And telling a good story in such a foreign world is equally impressive. Yuri goes on clearly passionate about her reading. She seems so reserved and timid since the moment I walked in. Okay. So. But you know, I like a lot of things. Is she, we're going to go through the. All the same stuff we went through before? I mean. Stories with deep psychological elements usually immerse me as well. Isn't it amazing how a writer can so deliberately take advantage of your own lack of imagination to completely throw you for a loop? Anyway, I've been reading a lot of horror lately. Uh, I read a horror book once. Well, I just went through a horrible experience. Does that count too? Or what? I desperately grasp something I can relate to at a minimal level. Oh, Stephen King. Stephen King. At this rate, Yuri might as well be having a conversation with The Rock. Yeah, <laughs> I expect that from you, Yuri. It suits your personality. Oh, is that so? Really? If a story makes me think or makes, takes me to another world, then I really can't put it down. Surreal horror is often very successful at changing the way you look at the world. If only for a brief moment. Oh, really? Is that what this game is? Is this a horror game? I didn't even think of that. Ugh, I hate horror. Oh, why is that? Well, I just... Now see these eyes that open me for a split second. Never mind. Well, you never read any horror manga? Where they're, like... That weird guy that man, draws that crazy crap? And really horrible. Okay. That's right, you usually like to write about cute things, don't you, Natsuki? What? Uh, what gives you that idea? You left a piece of scrap paper behind last... Behind last club meeting. Look like you were working on a poem called. Don't say it out loud. Give that back. <laughs> okay. Fine, fine. That's okay. You write your own poems. Oh, okay. You write your own poems? Uh, well, I guess sometimes. What do you care? I think that's impressive. Why don't you share them sometime? Oh, okay. No. no. Natsuki averts her eyes. You wouldn't like them. Well, how do you know? Okay. Uh, not a very confident writer yet. I understand how Natsuki feels. That's Yuri. Sharing that level of writing takes more than just confidence. The truest form of writing is writing to oneself. You must be willing to open up to your readers, exposing your vulnerabilities and showing you in the deepest reaches of your heart. Do you have writing experience too, Yuri? Maybe if you share some of your work, you could set an example and help Natsuki feel comfortable enough to share hers. Okay. I guess it's the same for Yuri. We all sit in silence for a moment. Hey, just got an idea. How about this? Suki and Yuri look quizzically at Monica. Let's all go home and write a poem of our own. Then next time we meet, we'll all share them with each other. That way everyone is even. Um, uh, uh, I mean, I thought it was...
was a good idea. Well, I think you're right, Margaret. We should probably start finding activities for all of us to participate in together. I did decide to take on the responsibility of Vice President, after all. I need to do my best to nurture the club as well as its members. Besides, now that we have a new member, it seems like a good step for us to, to take. Do you agree as well, Bunny? Hold on, there's still one problem. Uh, what's that? Now that we've reached the most important topic, I'd bluntly come forth with what's been on my mind the entire time. I never said I would join this club. Monica may have convinced me to stop by, but I never made any decision. Okay, I still have other clubs to look at, and, um... I lose my train of thought. All three girls stared back at me with dejected eyes. But... Okay, I'm sorry, I thought... I have... Uh, the girls exchange glances before Monica turns back to me. I guess I need to tell you the truth, Bunny. The thing is... We don't have enough members yet to form an official club. We need four. And I've been trying really, really hard to find new members. And if we don't find one more before the festival... So... I'm defenseless against these girls. How am I supposed to make a clear decision when it's like this? I'd feel terrible terrible for letting everyone down in this situation. Yeah, I would too. Besides, the club itself seems pretty relaxed. This is as good a club as any. Why not be here? I mean, you get to hang around with three girls, you get to read, and maybe that's you could bring in a manga and you could read that. That'd be great. You could have tea. It's not like a perfect club, actually. So, except for everybody, except for your friend dying, I mean, so if writing poems is the price I need to pay in order to spend every day with these beautiful girls. Yeah, why not? I should get to practice writing poems. Right, right. Okay, I've decided then. I'll join the literature club. One by one, the girls' eyes light up. Oh my goodness, really? Did you really mean that, Bunny? Yeah. It could be fun, right? You really did scare me for a moment. I mean, if you really just left after this... I would be super pissed. <laughs> okay. Buddy, I'm so happy. Can we get, can, can become an official club now? That's great. Thank you so much for this. You're really amazing. I do, I'll do. i do everything I can to give you a great time, okay? Uh, thanks, I guess. Okay, everyone. I think with that, we can officially end today's meeting on a good note. Everyone, remember tonight's assignment. Write a poem to bring to the next meeting so we could all share. Monica looks over at me once more. Bunny, I look forward to seeing how you express yourself. Just maybe we have to go through this poem thing again and pick. Uh, oh, wow, well, okay. Uh, yeah. Can I really impress the class star Monica with my mediocre writing skills? I already feel the anxiety welling up inside me. Meanwhile, the girls continue to chit-chat as Yuri cleans up the tea set. I guess I'll be on my way then. I'll feel so funny I can walk home with Yuri. Okay. I'll see you tomorrow then. I can't wait. But, okay, what's it gonna say now? With that, I depart the club room and make my way home. The whole way, my mom wanders back and forth between the three girls. Atsuki, Yuri, and of course, Monica. Will I really be happy spending every day after school in a, in a literature club? Man, it feels so different without Sari there. I don't know if I'd join without her, but she seemed, so much, she seemed to make the club so much more fun. Perhaps I'll have the chance to go closer to one of these girls. What, and watch them kill themselves? I don't know. Alright, I just need to make the most of my circumstances. I'm sure good fortune will find me. I guess that starts with writing a poem tonight. You have unlocked a special poem, would you like to read it? Oh, I don't know. Really? You like a poem from Sayuri from Beyond the Grave? I don't know. Okay, yeah, of course we're gonna read it. Oh, God! <laughs> 
No. Happy thoughts, happy thoughts, happy thoughts. What the hell? Wow. That was really frightening, man. What was it? Okay. Oh man, does that does that does that mean whoever I pick this time is gonna go down my tube like the last one? So I gotta like pick one of these two idiots. Then okay, let's get ready, Natsuki. I'm just I'm sick, I'm sick of her, <laughs> sort of. Maybe not. I don't know. I sort of like her now. I, I don't know. Okay, let's do Kitty. Hi, Kitty. Let's do Valentine. Oh, that's her again. That's okay. Okay. Ocean, depression, imagination, excitement, silly, spinning, vivid, giggle, fluffy, intellectual. Let's go giggle. That's Natsuki again. Oh, just, of course, we're going to go with Bunny. That's Natsuki. Oh, God. Uh, let's see. Let's go with the universe. Oh, that's uh, Yuri. Okay. I'm not gonna read all the words, I'm just gonna re go real quick here. Unrequited. Yeah, that's Yuri, okay. Um, vanilla? Oh my god. Broken. Okay. Restrained. Serantic Kawaii. Raindrops. Oh wow. What is raindrops then? Wasn't that, wasn't that in Sayori before? That's, okay, hurt. Still hurt. Okay, let's see her. That's Yuri. Okay. Hurt was Yuri, so Melody. I like Melody. Let's see her. Uh, Natsuki. I can't remember who has the most now. Okay. Uh, let's go. The first one to post out of me. Analysis. Okay. Um, Starscape. Puff. It's too puff. Okay. Swimsuit. Who's that? Okay. They but that was both. Uh, Natsuki. Uh, Doki Doki. Okay. That's Natsuki too. I'm stable. How about that? That's say Yuri. Uh, that's a Yuri. Uh, a tone. Stupid <laughs> now. Starting to feel like I'm picking certain words. Uh, that's that's a, uh, that was Yuri again. Um, ribbon. That reminds me of Sayuri. The ribbon on her head. She even put the she even had the ribbon when she was saying it herself. Okay, because I remember it. Um. Uh, that was Natsuki, by the way. Ribbon. Uh, Massacre. <laughs> okay. That's Yuri. Uh, clumsy dams. Uh, Sigurative. That's Yuri. Now, wait a minute. Who did we pick more of? Hi again, Bunny. Uh, glad to see you didn't run away on us. <laughs> yeah. Nah, uh, don't worry. This might be a little strange for me, but at least I can. I at least keep my word. Well, I'm back at the literature club. Yeah, we're back at the club now. Club room. I was the last to come in, so everyone else is already hanging out. What the hell? What was that? Thanks for keeping your promise, buddy. That's Yuri. Uh, I hope this isn't too overwhelming, overwhelming of a commitment for you. No. Making you dive headfirst into literature when you're not accustomed to it. Oh, shit. Oh, come on, like he deserves any slack. That's Natsuki, of course. They already had to dra be dragged here by Monica. I don't know if you plan just to come here and hang out or what. Well, yeah, I did, actually. But if you don't take it seriously, then you won't see the end of it. Well, I wanted to read your manga, but... Uh, okay, well, uh... Okay, uh, Monica's standing here, and I can't see the words <laughs> behind her, because she's covering the text. Something have a big mouth for someone who keeps okay manga Suki finds herself stuck between saying Monica and manga manga is literature to 
totally agree. Swiftly defeated, Natugi plops back into her seat. I'm sorry, Bunny. We'll make sure to put your comfort first, okay? Well, thank you. Yuri shoots Natsuki with a disappointed glance. Um, anyway, now that you're here in the club and all, perhaps you might have an interest in picking a, picking a book to read. Well, I can't really say no either way. Like I said, I'm in this club now. Is, you know what? Is the classroom tilted on the side? Okay. Okay, they're not. The pictures aren't, but the portraits of the people. Like, okay. So it only feels right for me to do something like that, if you ask. But wait, I didn't mean it like that. Uh, if you don't really want to, then forget I said anything, I guess. I know it's not that Yuri. I want to try to be part of this club. Okay. So even if I don't read off, I'd be happy to pick up a book if you wanted me to. Are you sure? I just felt like, well, as vice president, you know, that I should help you get started on something you might like. Is the room tilting? I'm getting sort of dizzy. Yuri reaches into her bag and pulls out the book. I didn't want you to feel left out. Uh, so I picked out a book that I thought you might enjoy. It's a short read, so it should keep your attention, even if you don't usually read. And we could, you know, what? Discuss it, if you wanted. Is it? The, the room was definitely tilted real lot. <laughs> How was this girl accidentally being so cute? She even picked out a book she thinks I like, despite me not reading much. The hell? Harry, thank you. I'll definitely read this. I enthusiastically take the book. I'm getting sort of dizzy. Phew. Well, you can read it at your own pace. Did I look like they're moving? I look forward to hearing what you think. Okay. Oh, shit. Okay, is the music slowing down? <laughs> Not everyone settled in. I expected Monica to kick off some scheduled activities for the club. That doesn't seem to be the case. Yuri's face is already buried in the book. You can't help but notice her intense expression, like she's waiting for this chance. Meanwhile, Natsuki is rummaging around in the closet. Oh, okay. I'm really curious to talk with Yuri a little bit more. Okay, I'm, I'm speeding this up a little bit now. And at the same time, I would feel bad for distracting her from her reading. Catch a glimpse of her at the cover of her book. Looks like the same book that she lent to me. More than that, she seems to be in the first few pages. Now I remember all this. Uh, crap. I think she knows me looking at her. I remember this. Uh, she well, this is where we um, snuggled up and read a book together. She sneaks another, another glance at me and her eyes melt for me for a split second. But that only makes her hide her face deeper in a book. Sorry, I was just spacing out. I muttered this, sensing I made her uncomfortable. Oh, that's fine. If I was focused, then they probably wouldn't have noticed in the first place. I remember that. Well, I'm just rereading a bit of this, so... It's the book you gave me, right? Oh. I wanted to read some of it. <laughs> reread some of it. Not for any particular reason. I'm just curious. Uh, how come you have two copies of the same book? Uh, well, when I stopped at the bookstore yesterday... Uh, that's not what I meant. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Sorry. I mean, I just happened to buy two of them. Ah, oh, I see. There's something fairly obvious here that Yuri isn't telling me, but I decide to let it go. I'll definitely start reading it soon. I'm glad to hear. And once it starts to pick up, you might even have a hard time putting it down. It's a very engaging and relatable story. Okay, is that so? What's the story about anyway? Well, mm hmm. I look at the cover of the book. The book is titled Portrait of Markov. I wonder if that's a real book. I don't recognize that. There's an ominous looking eye symbol on the front cover. Basically, it's about the, uh, this religious camp that was turned into a human experiment prison. Then the people trapped there have this trait that turns them into killing machines that lust for blood. I would love to read this. <laughs> this sounds a really good book. But the fac facility gets even worse, and they started start selectively breeding people by cutting off their limbs. They, what? Okay, maybe, you know what? Maybe not. They're fixing them to 
Oh, that might be a little bit of a spoiler. Yeah. Okay, maybe, you know what? I think I changed my mind. Uh, body body horror always gets me. I don't I don't know. But anyway, I'm really into it. Uh, the book, I mean. Well, what else could she be into? Oh, not the thing. <laughs> not the thing about limbs. <laughs> okay. Is she a closet psycho? Is that what's going on? Sorry about that plane. It's making a lot of noise there. I have I occasionally have planes go by and they make noise. And it's sort of warm out, so I'm not. I don't have my window closed. It's kind of. It's kind of dark, isn't it? Yes, it is. Hearing me, it sounded like it was going to be a nice story, so that dark turn came, up, came from nowhere. Yes, it did. Uh, sort of like this game. Uh, are you not a fan of that sort of thing, buddy? Well, you know, generally I'm not, but no, it's not that. I mean, I can definitely enjoy these kinds of stories, so don't worry. I hope so. Yeah, I totally forgot that Yuri is into those things. Uh, she's so silent and inclusive on the outside, but her mind seems to be completely different. It's just that this kind of story... Okay. It's just that this kind of story is the kind that challenges you to look at life from a strange new perspective. Oh, wow. I just realized that's what, they were talk that's what they're talking about. When horrible things happen, not just because someone wants to be evil, but the because the world is full of horrible people and we're all worthless anyway. I'll remember her saying that before. Then suddenly... <coughs> I'm, I'm rambling, am I? Not again. Sorry. I do apologize. I haven't lost interest or anything. Well... I guess it's alright then. Okay. But I feel like I should let you know I have this problem. When I let things like books and writing fill my thoughts. What? What the hell was that? I get incredibly kind of... Uh, okay, I kind of forgot to pay attention... I, I kind of forget to pay attention to other people. Was that that, th was that a thing you're saying she kills people? So I'm sorry if I end up saying str something strange. The words went by so quick and it didn't let, I didn't click on that. It just, it just did it by itself. Okay. And please stop me if I start talking too much. That's... I really don't think you need to worry. That just means you're passionate about reading. The least you can do is listen. It's a literature, cl literature club after all. Well, that's... Well, that's true. In fact... I might as well get started reading it, right? <laughs> Jesus. Let's get that shit out of me. Hey. Yes. I mean, you don't have to, but... Yeah, what are you saying? Yeah. Let me just get the book. You know, this has been perfect time for... Uh, for, uh... For, uh, Halloween. Okay, I quickly retrieved the book that I put into my bag. Alright, it's fine if I start here, sit here, right? I slip into the seat next to Yuri's. Uh, yeah. Are you sure? I seem a little apprehensive. That's... I'm sorry. It's not that I don't want you to. It's just something I'm not very used to. That is, reading in, in company with someone. I see. Well, just tell me if I end up distracting you or anything. Alright. I open the book and start the prologue. I soon understand what Yuri meant about means about reading in company. It's as if I can feel her presence over my shoulder as I read. It's not a particularly bad thing. When I feel bad, I feel like uh, Sayuri's so ghost is like staring at us. And like, pissed. Maybe a little distracting. But the feeling is somewhat comforting. Here he is in the corner of my eye. I realize that she's not looking at her own book. I glance over. Looks like she's reading for my book instead. S sorry, I was just bathing in the fi What? I didn't press that. Okay, Yuri, you apologize a lot, apologize a lot don't you? She's bathing in what? Her blood? I, I do. I don't really mean to. Sorry. I mean, I don't know. Here, this should work right. I slide my desk. Oh, I, 
forgot about that. I slide my desk until it's up against Yuri's, then hold uh, my book more between the two of them. Oh yeah. I, I suppose so. Yuri timidly closes her own copy. Once we each lean, once we each lean in a little bit, my shoulders are almost touching. It feels like my arm is the, in the way, so instead I use my right hand to hold the book open. I guess that kind of makes it difficult to turn the page. Here. Yeah, okay, here we go. Oh, by the way, I found out you could press H, and uh, I was pressing the keys <laughs> to see. I was pressing the F, F keys. I started pressing it all around to see if I could, like, um, uh, see if I could get the text thing to go away. And you can. Just press the H key. I didn't even know that. Uh, Yuri takes her left arm and holds this, and it's good for if I want to take pictures for the, uh, the, the, um, icons for the files. Okay. Oh, yeah. Actually, why don't I do that right now? Could I do, um, how do I do that? Okay, can I do that? Okay, okay, whatever. Yuri takes her, uh, left arm and holds the left side of the book between her thumb and forefinger. Okay, uh, I do the same with my right arm and the right side of the book. The way I turn the page and blah. Okay, but then holding it like this, we huddled even closer than before. It's actually kind of distracting me. Hold on a minute. Okay. It's as if I can feel the warmth of Yuri's face and she's in the core of my vision. Are you ready? Okay, yeah. You turn the page? That's all right. Yeah, I remember this. Okay, I glance over Yuri's face again. There eyes me. Da -da -da -da. That's okay. Uh, you're not as used to reading, right? I don't mind being patient if it may, takes you a bit longer. Oh yeah, I remember this. It's probably the least I can do, uh, since you've been so patient with me. Yeah. Thanks. Continue reading. You're no longer asking me if I am ready to turn the page. Instead, I just assume that she finished the page before me, so I turn it up by my own volition. Okay, we continue the first chapter in silence. Even so, turning out each page almost feels like an intimate exchange. My thumb gently letting out the page, letting it flutter over to her side as she catches it under my own, her own thumb. Hey Yuri, this might be a silly thought, but the main character kind of reminds you of me of, of you a little bit. Oh yeah, that's right, I remember that. Yeah? No, I, I don't relate to this character at all. Definitely not. Oh, wait a minute. Are we reading the same book? Because this sounds like a crazy killer book. Really? I was just thinking the way she second guesses things, she says, and all that. Okay. She's not the uh, crazy, uh, <laughs> she's not the crazy psycho murderer. Okay. Uh, that's what you were talking about. Sorry? I thought you meant something else about her. Okay. Something else? Yeah, the fact that she's probably crazy and psycho. Okay. Never mind. Uh, we didn't even get that far yet. So I don't know what came into my head. <laughs> uh, what the part where the main character goes nuts and starts killing people and cutting their limbs off and pasting them onto other people. Yuri, are you feeling alright? Yeah? Yuri's been a little fidgety ever since we started reading. You can rest if you're feeling sick or something. Your breathing is a little... What? My breathing? Harry puts a hand on the, on the, her chest as if to feel her heartbeat. I I didn't even notice. Anyway, I'm fine. I just need some water. Alright, don't push yourself. Uh, Yuri stands up and practically rushes out of the classroom. Uh, what on earth was that about? Bunny? It's Monica. Did something happen just now? Yeah? I have no idea. Uh, Yuri is wet, was acting a little strange, I guess. So you don't know anything? Sorry, I can't say I do. What, is, what does Yuri have, like a heart condition or something? Is she gonna like, have a heart attack and die? Are you worried about her? Oh, not really. No. I was just making sure you didn't do anything to her. Oh, come on. Oh, no, nothing. Uh, <laughs> don't worry, I believe you, silly. Yuri just does this sometimes, so it's nothing alarming. Alright, if you say so. Anyway, 
Why don't we start sharing our poems with each other? Huh? Should we wait? Should we wait for Yuri? <coughs> yes. Should we? Well, she might be a while, so I just figured we'd get started without her. Is that okay? Yeah, I was just asking. I stand up. I make a mental note of where I left off in the book, then slip back into my bag. Oh, okay. Oh, wow, what? Okay, who should I show my poem to first? Yeah, we did Natsuki Yamaka. Okay, I'm gonna cut the file here. Um, it's past 30 minutes, I don't wanna go on uh, too much longer in this. Why is Yuri gone? So. Oh god, does that mean I have to suddenly. Okay. Uh, if I choose one of them two, then. Does that mean one of them is gonna die? Is that what's gonna happen? Oh, well, that's right. You know, the person I like is the person that's gonna die. The person I wrote the poem a lot about. Right? I think. Oh, should I have, uh... Oh, I might think of my stuff. Okay, well, whatever. Okay, anyway. Alright, anyway, I'm getting confused. <laughs> right. Alright, this, uh, this game changed quite a great deal. And, uh... You know what? Is this what... You know, I'm getting the feeling this is supposed to be a horror game. And, okay, anyway... Well, it's scaring the crap out of me, anyway, but... In the meantime, um... I'm gonna say, uh... Tom Buddy says, and thank you for joining me, and, uh... We'll get to this next time. And we'll see what's going on. Uh... Boy, this game changed a lot. Quickly. Sort of unexpectedly, really. <laughs> uh, but I'm, I'm liking it, so... Except for that horrible picture of, uh... So you're already hanging from the ceiling. That was really, that really freaked me out. Okay, anyway. Um, uh, again, thank you for joining me, and uh, I hope I'll see you next time <laughs> when we'll continue on. And uh, there may be, may or may not be for the murder and mayhem. Uh, okay, anyway. Uh, thank you for joining me, and uh, goodbye for now.